and his commentary about the Brexit vote have led some people to call for him to run for prime minister. But Akala says this political moment is about more than the next election for him. It's about a sense of loss around the world that causes some groups to target others. Firstly, just to be clear, I wasn't necessarily absolutely pro-Remain. I just think as a nation, our media and the people that led the uh, Brexit campaign chose to focus on issues, A, that were very little to do with the EU, and B, kind of created a really xenophobic climate in the country. And because of that, the, the fallout has been kind of really a barrage of racial abuse, even attacks sometimes. People thought that, you know, all of a sudden the next day all the immigrants would, would leave and go back to Europe. So what it told Europe and the world about Britain as a country, that we think not only we're so much better than people in the global south, in Africa and Asia, we think we're much better than the rest of Europe. And being frank, as a nation, we have, in, on many indices, some of the worst outcomes in the EU. So, for example, we lock up our population in prison about twice the rate the Germans do. We have almost the lowest educational attainment in the entire EU, despite being one of the richest countries. So we have a lot of problems as a country. Rather than dealing with them, we've kind of blamed all these people coming from elsewhere. You're staring at me while you say this, and I can't help thinking about the United States, of a country with all of the wealth and yet not the highest educational mm-hmm. attainment that's mm-hmm. in, in the throes of blaming others for its problems, mm-hmm. that locks up people at a much higher rate mm-hmm. than anyone comparable. Yep. It's, it's, it's like looking in a mirror when I'm talking to you right now. And Britain has very much economically, culturally, politically pushed itself more towards the states than towards the European model. And the outcomes of that have been predictable. I mean, two million people last year in Britain were living on food banks in one of the richest countries in earth. That should embarrass people. Instead of it embarrassing people and working to make their country better, they think it's the foreigners' fault. Or at least that's what the media was telling them. And that really almost the whole of Brexit was fought around this idea of immigration. And ironically, as several actual scholars pointed out, the EU has no control over Britain's immigration policy.